What's up people, it's King Dell the Seventh, and I'm doing another impression video on a game called Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 that I was able to get my hands on thanks to the Dev Team CI Games and a friend of mine 3MG. Uh, so like always, this is not going to be a review video. I don't believe in reviews. I believe all I can do is tell you my experiences. If you think you have similar experiences and enjoy them, then you should like the game. If you don't think you like those experiences, then you probably shouldn't buy the game. But as of now, let's talk about Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Now this game is in beta. It won't release until April 4th of 2017. And what the game is about is it's about you going into Georgia because Georgia's in a civil war and you're a guy named Jonathan North who's an American sniper. Now although it's called Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, sniping is not the only thing you can do in the game. You can play as a sniper, you can play as a ghost, or you can play as a warrior. 3 is just because it's the third game in the series, but yeah, Sniper, Ghost, and Warrior are the three different playstyles you can have. Now a sniper is what you do when you just want to sit back and snipe. You just grab your sniper, you make sure you have, that sniper has a uh, silencer on it, you sit back and you just pick people off. A ghost is what you do when you run around like a stealthy ghost and you just like take people down, you assassinate people, you interrogate people so you can get more information on your mission. Ghost is just the stealthy aspect of the gameplay. Now a warrior is what you do when you just want to pull out your AK-47 and just rain hell on everyone who's standing in your way of completing your mission. So you have those three game styles and you can also have a, uh, a skill tree for each play style that like you can move more silent or you can zoom in more, you can hold your breath more, things like that. Now let's get into my likes and dislikes of the game. Let's do likes first. So my first like is I like the skill tree. I like the fact that it's, I guess, RPG-ish, where you can get better at certain skills that'll make your missions easier. The second thing that I like is I like the fact that you can go about your missions any way that you see fit. Not even with the three different playstyles, but in terms of just customizing your gear, choosing what gear you go out with, you can have drones, you can have stun grenades, flash grenades, smoke grenades, you can have silencers on your guns, you cannot have silencers on your guns, you can choose what guns you go out with, you can have shotguns, you can have rifles, you can have snipers, you can have different types of snipers, different types of pistols, different types of knives, different body armor, like, it's just totally customizable the way you want to go out on your mission and there are a good amount of choices even for the beta so I would be excited to see what the full game has in store for us. Another thing that I liked is the open world aspect of the game. Any game that's open world I'm almost immediately sold on it just because I like the exploration in games and usually open world games means you have more hours of gameplay. The map from what I've seen it's not a small map it's pretty big. Also I like the fact that you can feel the ambition in the game as you're playing. You can feel that the game wants to be big time. Whether you're looking at the environment, the beautiful environment with the dynamic weather that can change and it can go in day and night cycles that impacts your gameplay. Like it'll probably be harder to see you at night. It'll also be harder to see enemies at night compared to the daytime. But when it comes to dislikes, first and foremost, I had frame rate problems. I don't know if it was just me. But I feel like it shouldn't be just me because of the fact that uh, I don't have frame rate problems with any other game that I play. And I had also had I had frame rate problems even though I was playing the game on low graphic setting. Now the reason I was playing the gameplay on low graphic settings is because I wanted to get it as accurate as how I would normally play a game as possible. And for first person shooters, I don't play the games on uh, on high graphical settings. Because I want to get as many frames as possible. You don't do that playing every game at Ultra. I don't need to play every game at Ultra. I'll look at the game at Ultra for a little bit and just to enjoy the uh, enjoy the environment. Then after that, I'll switch the game to low graphical settings because I don't really care about gra graphics all that much. But I do care about my frames, and I was having heavy frame drops, as you can see in the gameplay. Another problem that I have is the AI. The AI felt very generic. It didn't feel like a current as it didn't feel as though it was a current gen AI. It felt like I would expect an AI from a PlayStation 2 game to feel. You know those AIs when as soon as you shoot everybody just gets alerted and everybody knows where you are? That's how this AI felt. As soon as I shot, if I didn't have a silencer on my gun, everyone was alerted and everyone just came to my position. So that's why it is very important. I don't know if they're going to keep that for the full game. Hopefully they improve the AI a little bit. But for the what I played in the beta, it was very important that I kept moving 
and I didn't stay in the same spot as I was shooting. Which is, of course, what you normally see from a sniper. Uh, what's another? I didn't like the fact that the recoils on the guns felt weak. I felt like I was shooting a toy gun in the game. When, like, when I shoot a sniper or AK-47 rifle, I expect to have to try hard to stabilize my aim. When I shot a sniper, my reticle barely moved. When I shot an AK, my reticle barely moved. It was pretty easy to aim on both controller and mouse. Now, if you don't like recoil, then you'll love that. But for me, I want when I shoot a strong gun, I want it to feel strong as I'm shooting it. I didn't get that feeling from the gun in Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. But as a whole, I think the game could be an okay game. I don't see it as being great. I don't think it'll be bad. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll struggle coming, going up against games like Sniper Elite and other first person shooters and other open world games that'll have bigger names. Because I haven't played another Sniper Ghost Warrior besides this. But from what I did play, I think it was okay. I wasn't super impressed, but I wasn't disappointed. I had fun playing the game, and that's what's that's the most important part, having fun as you're playing the game. If you don't have fun, then there's no point in playing the game. And Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 was a pretty fun game. I would love to hear your opinions on what I had to say about the game. I would love to see if you would think that you're going to buy the game. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is King Dub the 7 signing out. Peace.